Here we are, we're on the Inner Circle Networking Day on my boat, the bonus rounds. We got about 40 entrepreneurs and business owners here networking and working on leveling up in all areas of their life. It's gonna be an amazing and very special day. Let's check it out. So we're here with the brains behind the operation. Eric, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, brother. Okay, tell us about your origin story, because you had quite the story. Origin story, I grew up just north of Boston, about 40 minutes north of the city, in a town called Salem, New Hampshire. Um, grew up in, you know, a um, uh, small-ish town, very blue collar. My father cut down trees for a living. I started getting involved in drugs and alcohol at a young age. I started smoking pot and selling pot, drinking alcohol about 10 years old. 10 years old. 10 years old, yeah. Yeah, I got uh, caught dealing drugs, selling weed for the first time at 10. Um, you know, so a little entrepreneurship at its finest, I guess. But um, so far, that's what we have in common with both you and Zane and your entrepreneurial journey. Was selling weed was your first flip? I swear to God that selling drugs is a better MBA in business than you can get in college. I, I fuck. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying it taught me a lot, you know. And so. Um, you know, what really the pivotal moment in my life was that when I was 14 years old in 1999, long time ago now, Oxycontin was just hitting the scene and, um, and creating this opioid epidemic. And a friend of mine that I had grown up with had gotten, and we were doing drugs and messing around with ecstasy and coke and, you know, experimenting, but he brought over a 40 milligram Oxycontin pill and we crushed it up and I sniffed half and he sniffed half and it birthed an, an opiate addiction in me on the spot. Six months later, I had dropped out of high school and I was an IV heroin addict. And so, but that was, I was 15 years old. So from 15 years old for about the next six and a half, almost seven years, um, I shot heroin, I shot, I used drugs every day and um, couldn't stay out of trouble to save my fucking life. In and out of jail, constantly getting arrested, on the street, committing crimes, robbing people to get my next fix. And eventually in, uh, on December 7th of 2006, after a robbery gone bad, uh, where I had robbed a guy for $82 with a kitchen knife, uh, the next morning I woke up and I was like, the gig is up. And uh, I knew my- You robbed him with a kitchen knife? Yeah, I robbed him with a kitchen knife yeah. for 82 bucks. Bought my last four bags of heroin with it. Wow. And, um, and the next morning, I mean, I didn't look like this. I was 135 pounds. I had track marks up and down both arms. I was a fucking mess. I'd been homeless, and I'd just gotten out of jail like maybe a week or two before this, and uh, and I went on the run for that, and that's when I got into sobriety, and I've been consistently sober and in recovery f uh, since then, which is about 16 and a half years. I guess December will be 17 years. So another thing I'm hearing from a lot of these entrepreneurs is sobriety is key. Yeah, we're on a yacht in the middle of a beautiful day, and no one's getting. There's not a single alcoholic drink here, yeah. not one. Yeah, but people are having a great time. This is a tri-deck, that means it has three floors and the bedrooms, it's actually four floors because the bedrooms are in like the basement of the boat. Then you got the first floor, we're on the second floor, and then we have the third floor up there. We're about halfway through our time here out on the yacht with the Inner Circle members. We got, I don't know, 40 something uh, business owners and entrepreneurs that are part of my coaching program here. Networking, eating food, cutting deals, building community. Entrepreneurship is a fucking lonely thing. I went through that. It challenged so many of the relationships that I had from people that I grew up with and people from my community because we had to go in different paths in order for me to chase the success that I want to chase. It really is an uncommon path for an uncommon life. But we're out here by Monument Island in Miami in the Bay. Behind me right here you have Star Island, uh, notable celebrities that live there, Diddy, um, Oprah, uh, you know, all sorts of people. Uh, we're not far from my house. My house is over there, what's called the Venetian Islands. And we're having a great time, man. It's probably 85 degrees out here. Enjoying a sunny, beautiful Miami day. Spending some time together. Bless.
You joined me at a great time because you successfully made the transition yeah. of working in the business to on the business, yeah, exactly. which is such a hard thing for so many entrepreneurs to, to do. My dad, that's the difference between me and my dad. My dad owned a tree removal company, cut down trees, and uh, did excavation work in people's yards. Yeah. That's real work. He could. Uh, <laughs> I've done a little landscape work. I worked, I worked for my buddy. I would get, for a half a day. I made it to lunch. I couldn't move for three days. I would get in trouble with it, and he would just drop me off at the wood yard and like make me split and sack firewood all day for like 12 hours. I'm like, oh, this sucks. But um, he could never not be the guy doing the work. He could never get over the thing in his head that was like, nobody can cut down these trees better than me. You know what I mean? Like, which is cool, but like, you get stuck running the chainsaw every fucking day. You know what I mean? And uh, I learned that watching him. I was like, you can hire a guy to do that for like 18 bucks an hour. Like, we could be at the pool right now. Like, what the fuck are we doing? All right, so we're here. I run uh, my Inner Circle coaching program, and part of that is the community and, and networking events. And so we do an event uh, every month, and this is a frequent one that we do. Earlier we were on the yacht. You saw me leave on the little boat. I've been working this afternoon and this evening, uh, but we've had a majority of my coaching group that has joined me here at my home, beautiful Miami, Venetian Islands. Come on, check it out, I'll show you. We have about, I don't know, there's probably about 50 of my members here, which isn't everyone, but it's a lot of them. And these folks are all entrepreneurs and business owners. Entrepreneurship and business is a lonely path, right? It really is. You end up the, the top guy in your organization, everyone else that works there, they go to the barbecues and they don't think about you. And that was a lot of the idea around building this community. And so this community is unbelievable. The deals that are getting done, the friendships that are being born and established and, uh, and everything, it's just been an amazing experience. Come on. I have my private chef, Tati, and she brings in a team. They have a nice, beautiful spread. We feed everybody. Got some bartenders over there. No alcoholic drinks. We don't booze. We don't drug around here. We're eating macros. We're living good. We're working out. We preach that shit. Um, but we have an amazing group. We have an open concept. We've got people inside, outside. Let's go meet some of them. Of course, the man himself who just got to Miami pulled up for the event. Wes Watson in the house. They told me Miami was a movie. We're not going to disappoint if it's a movie. That's what we've been doing. I mean, it was a gangster movie, but it's still a fucking movie. Oh, yeah. 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 Homeboy Zane just holding down the couch. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Couch right here. You guys don't know, but this is the big boss running the solar business nationally. Top G of the solar business. I'm just trying to be like Eric, man. <laughs> I'm trying to be like him. <laughs> And so we got everyone else out back here. We got a beautiful view of the Miami skyline. And uh, yeah, man, it's happening. It's a great community. All right, that's a wrap. We had a great day. Amazing inner circle event. Networked on the yacht. Networked at my home. A little dinner party. We're shutting it down. Sending everyone home. We'll see you on our call at Wednesday at 5 p.m. Next event. We're looking forward to it. New Hampshire, June 16th. Up in my estate in New Hampshire. It's going to be a great day. Thank you.